Namaste, welcome to Arthaniti. Today I want to talk about certain financial aspects that you should take care of before you plan to migrate from India. Now the first thing that I want to talk to you about is conversion of your bank accounts. Your existing savings account need to be converted into a NRO account, non-resident ordinary account. All your incomes in India, say by way of uh, returns on your investment, dividend income, rental income if any, needs to be deposited in this non-resident ordinary account. The fund uh, funds in the uh, this account are non-repatriable. You cannot take them out of India and they are taxable in India. For any funds that you wish to transfer from outside, say from the place where you have migrated to India uh, to carry out expenses in India, to carry out investments in India, you can open a NRE account, non-resident external rupee account. Correct. So if you want to uh, like transfer, say, uh, some US dollars, you can do so in a NRE account. Through an NRE account, you can uh, make your expense, you can take care of your expenses in India and also use those funds for investment in India. The funds in uh, NRE account are uh, tax free and are totally repatriable. Correct. The next aspect that you want to uh, think of uh, like before you shift base from India is if you have any insurance policies. Now say suppose if you have any endowment plans, make sure you set up an auto debit facility so that the premiums will be automatically debited through your NRO accounts. Correct. If you have a term policy, a term life insurance policy, check with your insurer, check with the insurance company whether that policy is transferable to the country of your migration. If that is not the case, then it is better you surrender that policy in India. For any health plans, yeah, uh, mostly health plans are geography specific. So the health plans that you must have bought while you were in India would not be applicable to the country of your migration. But I would still suggest to ca as you carry on with your health plan. Why? Because uh, of the cheap medical facilities uh, and the expert medical facilities that are available in India. And you can use them if and when uh, the need arises. Correct? So, but you will still have to buy a new health plan uh, in the uh, country where you have migrated as well. Because health insurance is an absolute necessity. Now, third point that I want to tell you about is if you want to invest in stock markets in India, then you have to open a PIS account. What is a PIS account? Portfolio Investment Account. Now, this can be opened uh, like with any authorized dealer authorized by Reserve Bank of India and you can buy and sell shares only through your PIS account. Correct. Thirdly, uh, la fourthly, what I want to tell you about is any investments that you hold in India need to be secure. So do not forget to mark nomination on all your investments in India before you leave the country. Also, make sure that you have registered a power of attorney in the name of a trustworthy family member so that any transactions that need to be carried out in your absence can go on smoothly. Correct. These aspects are very, very necessary in your regular dealings. Uh, last but not the least, uh, clear any tax liability that you have. Do not keep any tax liability pending. Also check for double taxation avoidance agreement that the country of your migration has with India so that you are not taxed uh, doubly. Correct. Uh, also clear any debts, any short term, say you use a credit card, make sure you uh, clear your credit card and short term debts before you leave the country. So these were some of the aspects, checklist that people who are planning to shift base out of the country should uh, tick mark before uh, leaving the country. Correct. So this was a short video about what NRIs should do before uh, they shift base out of India. Any queries, again, feel free to comment and I will be happy to help you. See you on Monday. Until then, stay safe. Happy weekend.